Heathrop Zoological Gardens. I'm Grace Dickinson, your guide, and today we'll be showing you some of my favourites of the resident animals here, talking about what makes them unique and explaining how they're adapted to life in the wild. Let's go. Mammals are warm-blooded, come in a variety of shapes and sizes and from many different environments. Most are placental, meaning the offspring develop inside the womb and are fully formed, whereas others, such as marsupials, found only in Tasmania and Australia, like these kangaroos, where tiny fetus-like babies, which crawl into a special pouch to continue their growth and development. All mammalian babies need to drink milk from their mothers in order to survive growth and develop into strong, healthy adults. However, sometimes parents reject their offspring, and when this happens in captivity, it's up to us humans to care for the young instead, especially in the absence of a suitable surrogate mother. Like with these two Amax calves, a beautiful and rare antelope species from southwest Africa, born here at Heathrock about four and a half months ago. related to the widest spread and much better known than the octopus. Unlike larger hippos, they would prefer to live alone or in pairs, rather than in large family groups. Hippopotamus will be river horse because they are excellent swimmers and like to live in water. They have a similar diet to horses, though unlike their very distinct cousins are quite cumbersome on land, they are capable of surprising bursts of speed. Despite their fearsome appearance, Pygmy hippos are herbivores or plant eaters and eat mainly grass and leaves, although the pygmies here also receive hay, carrots, potatoes, other vegetables, fruit and pony nuts. These huge canine tusks are used for defence and combat over territory, with rival males gaping their mouths, showing off their teeth to intimidate one another. Her eyes and ears are positioned on the top of her head, allowing Emma to remain hidden, almost totally submerged in the water, and also help her to keep cool. These pores all over Emma's body secrete an oily fluid to lubricate and condition her skin, plus to aid cooling, much in the way sweat on other animals works. Giraffes have developed long necks over thousands of years of evolution that enable them to eat leaves high in the treetops that other animals can't reach, helping them to survive in harsh grassland conditions by reducing competition for food with other species. And believe it or not, the number of vertebral bones found in these huge creatures is the same as in this tiny mouse. Other animals have unusual physical features too, particularly those found in extreme environments. Camels come from North Africa and Asia. There are very few dromedary or one-humped camels left in the wild, and only a few Bactrians, like this one here, that can be found in the Gobi Desert. They are domesticated by man centuries ago, and both species share many special adaptations for coping with desert life. Tough lips help for munching on the coarse, moisture-rich desert plants the camels must eat to survive. Nostrils that can close fully to stop wind-blown sand from entering. Long eyelashes to protect the eyes from sand. Long neck and legs with greater surface area relative to body volume helps cooling by increased heat loss. The long legs also allow the camel to walk huge distances with ease, as much as 40 miles in a day while carrying a load of up to 500 pounds. Only two toes on each foot spread wide for more effective weight distribution on loose sand. Humps on their backs don't store water but are in fact fat reserves that are used and converted to energy when food is scarce. Thick skin covers the body to give insulation, protecting them from both the harsh heat of the sun and the freezing cold desert nights. In addition, a warm woolly coat is grown in the winter and then shed in the summer months to help aid temperature regulation. Water is precious in the desert and the camel can go for nine days without a drink, although 34 days survival has been recorded. After being starved of water, the camel may drink up to 27 gallons within 10 minutes to rehydrate itself rapidly absorbing the liquid into its body tissues, rather than storing it in the stomach. Other water preservation tactics are minimal sweating, highly concentrated urine, and the camel's liver is so strong and powerful and effective an organ, it can even process salt water, often the only source available to it in its dry desert home. Pretty clever stuff. Madagascan ring-tailed lemurs like these guys live in female-dominated family groups and communicate with each other mainly by complex vocalisations but also with tail signals and scent marking. 
Unlike other types of lemur, ringtails spend much of their time on the ground as well as in the trees and like to sunbathe, sitting upright in a sun worship position, much like the Buddhist lotus posture. It's not only mammals who need to have specialised bodies in order to get food. Whereas lemurs are agile climbers to reach flowers and fruits, camels can fast without damaging their bodies and giraffes are tall to reach leaves in trees. Not all creatures have size on their side. Many birds rely on their keen eyesight and high intelligence to find a meal and reptiles are frequently coloured to camouflage with their surroundings so they can catch their prey unawares. This magnificent bird is a common raven, the largest species in the crow family and native all over North and Central America, Europe, Asia and North Africa. Ravens are highly intelligent scavenging birds, able to survive on a variety of foodstuffs and are excellent problem solvers when it comes to obtaining a meal. They tend to live in pairs in open habitats and also in urban areas, usually attracted by rubbish thrown out by people and roadkill mammals which make for easy pickings. Famous for their ability to change colour, chameleons use unique hormone-triggered pigment cells under the skin to help them blend in with their leafy treetop home, which also is signals to express their moods and between rival males over territory and mates. They are also renowned for their incredibly long tongues thrown out of their mouth by special skull bones used to capture their insect prey, which they first home in on and target with deadly accuracy using these telescopic eyes, which move independently of one another to give fantastic surround vision. Unfortunately, my time here is up, but there you have it. Just a short glimpse into the weird and wonderful animal world reveals broad variability, clever adaptability, and strange and bizarre body forms and behavior, all geared towards survival, even in some of the world's most inhospitable environments. So for now, goodbye. I'm Grace Dickinson, you're a guy. <laughs> Sorry, it's <laughs> <laughs>